Crack Distributors Radio. Crack Distributors Radio. You already know, man. It's your boy Sean. It's Crack Distributors Radio. We're in the building right now, and we got Trackademics on the line. What's up? How's it going? Hey, what's going on, fam? Chilling, chilling, chilling. Fresh coast, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the remix tape volume two just dropped. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just uh, kind of started flooding, flooding the, the internet with that. You know, um, you know, volume two. We're looking at volume one before that. So, uh, you know, getting a lot of good responses right now. A lot of influential people are excited about it. Let them know about you as a as a musician and a producer, man. And your whole background right now. For sure. Well, uh, I've been, you know, I've been making music uh, since I was fresh out of high school. You know, um, and uh, man, just really. You know, the beats really grabbed me, and I was I was doing that for a while. I'm um, using uh, ASR 88 to make my instrument, uh, make my music, and uh, you know, I'm really just fed by a lot of different kinds of music. So, you know, definitely rooted in hip hop, you know, rap music. Um, but I like to take a lot of different elements, you know, electronic, you know, house, uh, broken beat. Uh, definitely, everything I do has got some soul in it. So, uh, yeah. you know, throw that all together. You know, from Bay Area, so that sound definitely comes out. Um, on some West Coast, Fresh Coast you know, <laughs> type vibe. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely an artist to myself. You'll, you'll hear me actually the intro to the remix tape I'm rapping on. Um, you know, it's kind of like the, the mission statement, if you will. Okay. Um, of kind of what I do, you know. That's what it is, man. And I have to say, the music right now, I mean, the whole state of... of, of I'm not just going to say hip hop, but I'm just going to say music in general, especially the production side is kind of becoming generic, but when I listen to your music, I hear other factors and other elements to your music, man. It's like, it's really important um, that, you know, you be yourself, and I know when I was in high school, I grew up um, just listening to me and my homies, you know, in the honor roll, you know, we grew up listening to a lot of different types of music, um, you know, and so I'm very heavily influenced by that, and, and by the way, you know, just because I rap doesn't mean I have to rap to a certain type. You know, uh, I think that, you know, for me to make a conscious decision that actually want to do music was like, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it the way that I, I would do it, not the way that the industry would see someone like me do it. You know, and I guess that kind of entails me rapping over faster beats or um, rapping over, you know, a lot of synthesizers. And it's becoming now, you know, a lot of folks are doing it, but, you know, we've been doing it for a minute. Well, let us know a little bit about Honor Roll and the movement that you guys have going on right now. For sure, yeah. So yeah, I'm part of a, a collective called the Honor Rolls, a crew out of the Bay Area. And uh, basically, you know, it's a, a collective of, uh, you know, a bunch of MCs and producers and even singers and stuff like that. So you got me, uh, Trackademics, uh, you know, I'm an artist and producer. We have one OAK who's also an uh, artist and producer, he's a singer. Um, and he does a lot of the beats for the Honor Roll. We have, a, we have DJ Tapkin, he's like the resident A&R. Um, you know, and DJ, super fresh. Uh, we have uh, Mike Baker, the bike maker, MC. Uh, we have Mox, Moxmore, who's an MC. Uh, Spank Pops, who's an MC. And then also Josie Stingray, she's, she's also getting down too. So, what can people expect from the remix tape, man? So, the remix tape volume two is kind of like my, you know, my, my baby. You know, I, I definitely like doing remixes. And so, there was a volume one where I did a lot of remixes, kind of left to center, doing left field remixes of and this is definitely like, um, you know, I guess more of that. When I say pop, I mean stuff that's definitely uh, people people know about, not necessarily just pop. But we got hip hop, we have some indie rock on there, uh, you know, definitely soul music on there. So it's like, uh, I guess what that sound is to showcase really where my head is at, you know. Yeah. And what I would do if I had these people in the studio with me. And, um, and on there there's also a few exclusives too, so um, I've worked with... Uh, Jack Davy from Jay Davy, um, got an exclusive uh, from them on there. Also, um, uh, Fonte from Little Brother. He's, okay. he, I'm done some work with him, and one of uh, actually two of the things that uh, I've done with him. I did a remix uh, of his group called Wind of Moto, and he was a vocalist on that. And then also an original track was on there. Um, so definitely uh, just just bringing you know a different fresh sound. You know that's kind of what the remix tape is for to kind of usher in the sound and, and show you 
this is what God will tell me. That's what it is, and we definitely feel a brand new sound coming from coming from you and your camp man with that with that tape. But your music too, it, it's really different. It's unique. Where do you see yourself going in the music industry, especially as a producer? Man, you know what? It's kind of funny because uh, just trying to base it off of the past. You know, a lot of people you can you can be an artist, you can be a producer, then you can be an artist. You know, and you better build. I think for me, it's really just um, it's a social it's a social ramification for me. I really want. Uh, people to understand that they can do themselves. So the way that I, the way that I'm doing it, I'm definitely um, an artist and definitely producer. And I want to work with a lot of people that I respect. You know, it's more of uh, getting my sound out there. Um, you know, to be able to to put in good music. That's really what it's all about. So uh, with that, you know, I'm definitely working with the honor roll. Um, you know, we have a hand in everybody's project, um, and also trying to work with more established artists. You know, that have been out there in all different genres. You know, I. I have pet projects that I'm interested in doing, everything from instrumental projects to, you know, um, side band projects to, you know, you know, artist, artist producer albums, you know, different artists that are out there. And some of these things are in the works, but, uh, you know, it's, it's crazy. The industry now is where it seems like all bets are off and whoever comes with the best ideas, the most creative stuff, um, the best work ethics going to win at the end of the day. What's, what's next from Shackademics, man, as, as far as the honor roll and even yourself as an artist? I have a 12-inch that's coming out. Yeah, we're still doing 12-inches, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah. uh, that's coming out uh, with Fool's Gold. So if people know about Fool's Gold, DJ A-Track. Most and definitely. Catch, um, catch dogs. Um, yeah, so A-Track is actually Kanye. He's one of Kanye's DJs for the tours. Um, and he's actually uh, helping put out my 12-inch, which is uh, um, Enjoy What You Do, and the B-side is going to be Top Side. Okay. And so, um, so, yeah, that'll be coming out during the summertime. And then uh, uh, just... You know, other Honor Roll projects, me and 108K, who's the other producer from the Honor Roll, working on a remakes project. Um, and I'm also shopping my album right now. So uh, I have a, a project that's nearing completion, so I'm about to, uh, you know, get in talks to people. So if you know anybody who's interested, you know, I'm kind of homeless right now, that's what we call it. But, you know, <laughs> looking, looking for a spot to, who's interested to help, help me uh, see the vision all the way through. Man, if, if somebody wants to know the definition of the music that you make and the sound that you make, what would you tell them, man? A definition, real quick. I mean, it's funny. The first, the first uh, track on the, the remix tape is probably the easiest way. It's definitely not the only way I would describe. I would have to say that my sound is Western slapidemic, tender, modern, cosmic music. Wow. If you get that, so it's like it, you know all encompassing. But within that, basically, it's really about making um, socially aware, um, you know, party music with some soul in it, nothing fleeting. So kind of crazy and it goes all over the place but it definitely those are the things that drive it you know fun uh, social socially aware you know of your situation whatever that may be doesn't necessarily mean it's positive all the time but you know definitely something that's aware that's pretty much it Western's like the Denny Tender Smiley Cosby music <laughs> that's what it is let the people know how they can keep it and, and updates on you so um uh, with the remix tape which is an interesting thing a lot of people are doing I'm putting out a uh, uh, with the, along with the remix tape every day and I've already started I'm about three deep I'm going to post another one uh, tomorrow yeah. but uh, I'm doing liner notes on the on the uh, blog spot so if you go to uh, trackademia.blogspot.com um, uh, that's where you can you can uh, find out about um, you know the remix tape and then also on my MySpace page myspace.com backslash trackademics T-R-A-C-K-A-D-E-M-I-C-K-S Make sure so, they spell uh, it right. I mean, right there. Your music is really being played a lot in my iPod, so I definitely want to spread the word out to a lot of people. And now that they're seeing this and hearing this, hopefully they'll go online, check out your music, and go download that remix tape too, man. For sure, for sure. That's what it yeah. is. Any last things you want to say? That's what it's all about. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Track Academics, Crack Distributors Radio. You know how it goes down. Crack Distributors Radio. <laughs> Crash dummy hopping out the stone with my Bobby jeans on my legs. Fit it on my head, go pull up in my grill with some piped out dress. Yes, sir, I'm the man in my city in the club looking like a shiny suit. Crack Distributors Radio.